Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is my channel. Today is my weekly wrap up video letting you guys know how my week went, what's in store for the week, and randomness. We'll start with the randomness first. Um, I want to let you guys know a couple things. First of all, I've had quite a few people say that they've fallen asleep listening to my voice and they find my voice soothing. Um, there have also been quite a few people that say they found my voice annoying, so thank you to everybody who has commented. Whether you find my voice annoying or not, or soothing, I appreciate it. Um, I have also been talking to someone in the meditation ASMR area of videos, doing videos for YouTube, and I've been encouraged by quite a few people to upload guided imagery, guided relaxation, ASMR type of videos. And I was going to do that on this channel, but I do know that a lot of people are just here for weight loss related videos. And I do put out like Ipsy bags on this channel and grocery hauls and stuff like that. But I would like to keep that separate, like the ASMR relaxation things completely separate because a lot of people are not interested in that and some people find it quite annoying. And I. I understand if you're here for one type of thing, it's hard to watch several different things. So I am made a new channel and I have somebody really awesome, a really awesome friend who is helping me learn the whole ASMR and guided imagery and relaxation, the whole thing and she's very successful in YouTube videos doing them. I haven't asked her if I could say her name so I'm not going to tell you her channel. but. When I do get the okay, I will let you know her channel. So, I've already uploaded two videos. Well, they're actually just audios. And I will pop a card. I can't remember. Is it this side? I think it's this side. I'll pop a card in there for my channel. And the channel name is called Shy Whispers ASMR. I will also leave a link in the description below if you want to follow me on that channel, no obligation to do so. I don't know how often I will upload there. Like I said, I have two videos, well, two audios that I have uploaded there so far. I uploaded one last night, and while I was trying to, to edit it, and as I was recording it, I kept falling asleep. So, the one I uploaded, it was for insomnia. I found it quite helpful for that. I don't know if anybody else will. Like I said, I've had quite a few people tell me that they enjoy my voice and that it's very relaxing. I've heard that for numerous years in my life. So along with that, along with my friend that's helping me, she thinks that I would be quite good at that. So I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. Like I said, no promises of how often that will be, but if you wanna subscribe and turn on the little bell so you'll know when I do upload a video there, and if you'd like to listen to Relax or Help Insomnia, those are the two videos I have so far. Or if you have any ideas of the type of videos I should upload over there, you can pop on over there and leave a comment on one of the videos telling me what you want to see over there. So that's the first thing. The second thing is somebody had asked, there's a couple people who asked, to see pictures of Baby Jen um, when I was doing the Q&A videos. And I promised that I would show pictures in the next video, and I didn't. I forgot. And I just remembered. So I'm going to show you a couple pictures of baby Jen in this video before I move on to why we're here. So this picture, I guess I was maybe four, three or four. There's baby Jen in the snow. That was my doggy. We got, he was just a pup when we got him, and I was a baby when we got him. So we grew up together, and he lived to be, I think, 14. His name was Kingy. My sweet baby. He was a collie, and I loved him so much. So that was the first picture of baby Jen. And this one was in 1979, so that means I was four. This was my fourth birthday. These are my cousins. Of course, we all know which one is me. The round one. 
that is me on my fourth birthday. And then this is me probably, I would say, maybe that same year or maybe the year after, maybe five. This is also baby me, butterball me. So as we can all see, I've had weight issues my entire life. Started out as a butterball and it just increased from there. So those are the random things I have to share with you. I wanted to include those pictures. Those are a few of the ones that I found just laying around. I have, of course, tons more in boxes and totes, but I didn't want to dig through them, so that's just what I had sitting around. All right, so let's get into why we're here, shall we? Um, this week has been very difficult for me, and when I tell you I've had a difficult week, I'm not making excuses. Um, I've noticed that, well, it's not something I just noticed, but a theme for my life is if it doesn't come easy to me, I usually lack the motivation and the, I guess just motivation is the word. I lack motivation to try. Um, so, and that's just in all areas of my life. And that's just being completely honest with you guys because that has been a problem. That was a problem when I was in school because, in high school, because if things didn't come easy and I didn't learn subjects easily, I would get frustrated and I would give up because I would think it was too hard. And then in other areas of my life, I've been the same way and especially with weight loss. If it doesn't come easy, and if I don't see immediate results, I get frustrated and I give up. And that's been the theme of my weight loss for the past four or five years since I've regained the 200 that I lost. Um, I would start out really well and I would have a good month or a good few weeks. I would lose a quite a bit of weight, well, not quite a bit, probably about 20 or 30 pounds. And then I would get, I don't know, bored or I would just, it was just too much work to keep going because I wanted to eat what I wanted to eat and I didn't want to have to try anymore. So I would give up. So that's why I've been constantly struggling with losing 20 pounds, gaining 15 losing 25, gaining 20, so it's always been like a number game of losing some and then feeling like I just didn't want to do it anymore because it wasn't easy. And it doesn't matter what kind of a food plan it was, it doesn't matter if it was restricting to 800 calories a day or if it was a very loose plan of 2,800 calories a day. It was just the point of I wasn't able to eat what I wanted to eat, when I wanted to eat it, and how much I wanted to eat. So I would just get frustrated and quit. So I have been, like I said, struggling this week with that. Um, it has not been a good end of the week. I will just tell you that. And um, I don't know if I would actually consider what I've eaten as a binge other than just not good food and definitely not logging the calories and definitely not within the calories to be honest with you guys um, Friday night I drank and I got pretty intoxicated so that was not good as well um, so that makes me wonder and it probably makes everybody wonder, are you really serious about losing weight? And in my head, yes, I am. I know why I have to lose weight, and I know what I need to do to lose weight, but do I really want to? And the answer to that is yes and no. And this is being honest with you guys um, and myself. If I could just have a pass and have my surgery now and be more mobile now, I would continue eating 
whatever I want, whenever I want, and however much of it I wanted. Um, but that's not the case. So, I have to find something that's going to work for me. I have been on a countless number of diets over the years, or food plans, whatever you want to call them, and a lot of times when a diet doesn't work for us, we say that it failed us or it just didn't work for us. But the honest thing is, is I failed it because I didn't try. I didn't try hard enough. Like I said, no matter what food plan I do, it's going to require hard work. It's going to require commitment. And it's going to require me actually sticking to it and not giving up after the first month or the first few weeks. So, I have to recommit myself and realize that I'm going to need to do the hard work. I've had two therapy sessions so far. A lot of the problems I've had this week are emotional. That has stirred up a lot of emotions in all different areas of my life from current relationships to past relationships to my childhood. Um, I feel like kind of in a tornado inside my head and I feel out of control. I feel out of control emotionally, spiritually, and obviously physically as well. And I've lost that calmness again. And this seems to be quite the pattern for me. I'm sure you guys have picked up on the pattern that I'll have a good few weeks and then I'll come back here and say that I am not at peace with myself. And that's the truth, I'm not at peace with myself. I don't know why I lose that peace other than I'm just not focused. And I don't know what it's going to take to make me focus. I don't know if I need to step away from YouTube completely. Um, and I'm not blaming it on YouTube because obviously that I was not making videos four or five years ago and I was not doing well. So I can't say that it's YouTube's fault or anybody else's fault other than my own. I just want to make sure that everyone is understanding that I am not saying these things because I'm quitting or I'm giving up. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just explaining and explaining to myself and letting myself hear it as well as why I'm not doing well. Because sometimes hearing it out loud lets it sink in and lets me realize what I'm where I've gone wrong. That's why a lot of these videos have been helpful to me to be able to go back and look at and pinpoint what went wrong, where it went wrong. So here are my plans for moving forward this week and beyond. I have read most of the book The Obesity Code by Jason Fung and that has been a total eye-opener. I resisted reading that book for a very long time. I know a lot of you suggested it and I either kind of ignored the comment or I maybe said, well, I know what I'm doing and my doctor knows what he's doing and I kind of was resistant to reading it. But I have read most of it now and like I said, it's been a total eye-opener on how my body works, about insulin resistance, about how your body turns food into fat or energy or otherwise. So there's a website that goes along with the Obesity Code book and I will pop a, another card here if I can or leave the link below. It's the J Dr. Jason Fung recommended diet plan or food plan for the Obesity Code that goes along with the book. There are two different food plans. One is a 24-hour fast and one is a 36-hour fast. And I am choosing to do the 24-hour fasting one. And that's not a complete not eating fast. You can still have water, coffee, green tea, and vegetable broth, beef broth, or chicken broth during the fasting times. So it's not like I'm not ingesting anything at all. And then, I, like I said, I'll leave the link below and you can see what the sample menus of the diets consist of. 
So I will be going to the grocery store tomorrow, which is Monday, and getting everything I need for that. It's grocery time anyhow, so what better time than to try something new. I know this is going to be quite restrictive from what I've been doing and from my natural, um, my natural instincts of eating, but like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of a food plan I choose. I need to put in the hard work and it's going to be hard for a while because it's not what I want to do. It's not eating the way I want to eat. There's no diet out there that is going to be just okay with me and easy because I just want to eat large amounts of food and eat it all the time. So that is what I'm going to be doing as far as food plan. I am also going to be starting a 21 day self improvement kind of thing. I have a book coming and I want to share that with you. I want to do 21 days of sharing the question and the topic of the day, drawing a card for the positivity and discussing it with you guys. I'll discuss what I feel about it and maybe you guys can discuss in the comments with me your feelings on it. I would love to have your input and start a discussion on the subject. Like I said, I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I get it. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. So I think along with the food plan, this 21 days to self-improvement, seeing my therapist and OA meetings, I need to stay committed to this. I cannot give up and I need to keep myself on track. And if that means having you guys on my butt, even if I'm like, oh, I don't want to hear that, just ignore me. Just tell me to shut up seriously. Um, and I mean that honestly. I may get like snippy but ignore my snippiness because I know it's what I need for me and I know you guys most of you guys are very helpful and want the best for me and I appreciate that so much you guys have been such good support for me and I invite you guys to keep me on track and to question what I'm doing why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it and that will help keep me on track as well I'm really excited to share that book with you guys and the affirmation cards that I'm getting as well so that will be tomorrow and I think that's all I'm gonna hurry up and try to get this uploaded because we are under a high wind warning and I don't know if I'm going to lose power later today so I wanted to get this video up pretty early today as opposed to when I usually get videos up later in the day so I can stay accountable for my Sunday week up weekly wrap-ups alright guys you guys have a really good week and I will talk to you probably tomorrow. Lord willing, the power doesn't go out. And if you want to jump over to my other channel and check out the videos I've uploaded, I would appreciate that as well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.